Hey everyone and welcome back to the Cropless channel. Now today we're back in Fallout 76 and we're going to be doing a video centered around the Atomic Shop. More specifically, how you can utilize Bethesda's support system to either gift someone practically anything from the Atomic Shop or claim it for yourself. Now I say practically everything because in this list there are things that won't appear such as ultra rare plans or outfits that have been on previous scoreboards or there might just be some really old things that don't appear here and obviously new content that isn't out yet that, that is just not going to be in this list. So basically the reason why you might want to do this is say that something comes up in the atomic shop and you can't afford it at the time. Let's be honest, atoms are expensive for some people and if you don't have Fallout first, you haven't got that constant stream of atoms coming in. So you might not be able to buy it at the time, but you may really, really want it. So this is a way that you can get those things uh, without having to wait for Bethesda to either put it back in on like a weekly update because obviously items are on a rotation or it may never come up again. So you might be able to find what you're after on this list here. So without any further ado, let's jump in and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is come to the Bethesda support website. I'll have a link in the description just in case you're struggling to find it for whatever reason. And you wanna make sure you have an account. Now I'm not too sure if you play through like Game Pass and stuff like that, whether you have to have a Bethesda account. I'm pretty sure you do, but just make sure you have one because you will need one for the tutorial. And it's just useful to have future, like if you have any problems or anything like that. So yeah, make sure you have one, sign in, and then come to this page and you wanna click Fallout 76. And then you're gonna to wanna to select the option billing, purchase, and code. And then pick your platform. Now it should work on every platform, but I play on Steam, so I'm gonna press Steam. And then select the option, I need help with the Atomic Shop. And then it'll ask you, are you inquiring about obtaining or gifting an item from the Atomic Shop? We're gonna press yes. And here's the options that you have. So you can either gift an item to a friend. So you'd put in their Steam username or their Bethesda username, whatever they play for at 76, that, that name tag, you put that in and uh, you'll be able to gift someone using your atoms. You can also uh, purchase an item from the Atomic Shop for yourself, which is what we're going to be doing today. And then you can also uh, ask questions about a sale or particular offer that's come up on the Atomic Shop. So I'm going to press, I want to purchase an Atomic Shop item for myself. And then it's going to ask you to put in your gamer tag, username, blah, 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 whatever, you know, you play the game as. So I'm going to put my name in Cropless. And then it's going to give you two options to pick items. Now you don't have to have both. You can just pick one thing. That's why this one's blanked out red and this one's gray. So you do have the option to pick two things. So let's say you wanted to buy two bundles. You can do that or you can just buy one. So if you click here, you have your item list. Now this has, like I said, practically everything you can think of. Individual items, bundles, cosmetics, uh, literally loads of things. Uh, literally, literally loads of things. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do it. But I'm not going to buy anything purely because my atoms are low right now. Um, but I will show you the process and I'll show you an example of how I did it before. Just so you can see that it's real and it works. So let's say I want to buy the... Mm, what should we pick? Let's go for the hay bales, why not? Let's say I want the hay bales, right? So if you read up here, it says, only the items available in the drop down menus are able to be purchased. Once your ticket is submitted, you will receive an email from customer service detailing the next steps in the process. So I'm gonna submit this. The reason why I don't mind doing this is because it's automated. The first response you get will be automated. So it will create you a support ticket. So I'm gonna press view ticket. And here we go. So you'll get an email from uh, like a robot, I guess, that says, greetings. Thank you for contacting the Bethesda support team. We have received your Atomic Shop item purchase request. Before we can grant your request, please confirm that you agree to have items taken out of your account for the following items. Obviously, there we are. So it will give us a price. So the hay bales, 300 atoms, total 300 atoms. Regards, Bethesda customer support. Now, it's important to note, I don't think you'll get offer prices. When you use this method, I think it is the full price, what it charged on the initial release so it won't you know how sometimes with fallout first you get discounts and things like that i don't think you'll get discounts through this so it's just important to know so anyway just to show you that this works what you would do is you'd say hello thank you um for your response i am happy for arms to be removed which i will show you and then what you will happen is you'll get a response from someone in a couple of days saying okay great we're going to take the items of your account out of your account and grant you it so if i go to my support just here I'll show you an example. So uh, that's the one we just opened. So I'm going to go to this one where it says answer provided. I think it's this one. Uh, here we go. 
So, as you can see, I inquired about the Halloween Camp Bundle. Um, so there's that message that I just read out earlier for the hay bales. And if you come down here, I responded. I said, hi, I agreed to have my arms removed for this kit. Thanks. And then I got a response from uh, an actual Bethesda customer support member of the team that said, thank you for your response. We have removed the necessary items and granted you the following items. Haunted House Camp Bundle and then the price. And then they closed the ticket. So that's basically all you have to do. It might take a couple of days for them to actually respond uh, once you've confirmed, but just check your tickets. Obviously you'll get that response or you can also just check the Atomic Shop to see if it's been removed. So that's basically it everybody. That's how you do it. Um, I'm going to go back to my game now just to show you that I have the Atomic Shop item that I bought, which was the Haunted House Camp Bundle, just so you can see that it works. And uh, yeah, we'll wrap up this video. Okay, so we're back in the Atomic Shop, and as you can see, I've got the Haunted House porch set, the Haunted House kit, go down here a little bit lower, there's the rusted chain link fence, and all this was included in that Haunted House bundle. So it's just a way to show you that it does work, I have done it myself, it's tested, and uh, yeah, from the time of this video, it still works, so if there's anything that you guys want, definitely go on there and check it out. I feel like this video is going to get a lot of hate, purely because... Some people might use this method and it's not well known and this video might do well and people find out about it and Bethesda might remove the option, but I don't think they will. Like I said, I think if there's something that you really want, there is no harm in picking what you want with the items that you've paid hard-earned money for, in my opinion. But yeah, that's going to wrap up for the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing and also let me know what you utilised this method for in the comments. I'd be really interested to find out what you guys bought. But without any further ado, I've been Cropless and I'll see you guys next time.